police any of that. Well, the suspect, the suspect pulled up across the courthouse at 13 minutes after 7. He left at 7.30 and arrived back at about 7.30, 7.35. And he waited in ambush to shoot uh, the judge. The judge, as he was approaching, like the prosecutor said, coming to the courthouse steps, he ran toward the judge, shooting at him. The judge tried to return fire and dropped his weapon, and the judge was able to pick his weapon up. And at some point in time, he went right up to the judge, trying to shoot and shove the judge down on the ground. So they waited in ambush. It's a sad day in America when we have another judge shot in front of his courthouse. Those are all of the details that we are going to release about the investigation at this time. Certainly, as we continue to learn more information, we will provide that to you as soon as we're able. Yes. We're going to do everything we can to make our community safe and to make our public officials safe. We're going to take all necessary steps to do that. Um, we don't have any additional information to believe that, but like in every case where this... There was rumbling and some talk of retaliation to shoot the officer that shot the suspect. And I hope that's all it is, is talk. But I can assure you, law enforcement from all around our county is called to assist us, as well as West Virginia. Force will be met with force. Simple as that. What we would also say is if we have people in the community, certainly if they see threats made on any form of social media, if they receive information about that, obviously we would want them to share that information with us so that we can follow up. We want to make sure that the citizens that live here are safe and that all of the law enforcement officers are safe as well. So certainly if you're picking that up on the comments and social media or you see that somewhere else, obviously we would like to know that so we can do everything we can to keep everyone here safe. Of him because what I don't want to do is release information to you that's preliminary in nature and then have to correct it later. So when we release information to you, we want, we want to make sure that it's accurate, and so I can't release that just yet. We will. Um, it's a good question. Um, we will probably just, given the nature of the interest in this case, it may be an email release, and so we'll have to take down that information, make sure we.